uh, if you recall from the last video, uh, we were making a couple of assumptions about the examples we will uh, do in this uh, in this this time. So the assumptions were that all messages are in uppercase letters in the English alphabet, and it cannot change the message. Now another important assumption, and we cannot call this assumption assumption uh, number three. Uh, if I can choose here, uh, the white pen. So assumption number t three is that uh, Alice and Bob. And then remember that Alice and Bob are the people who want to communicate. Alice and Bob already agree on what cipher to use. So Alice and Bob agreed on the cipher. So what that means basically is that uh, at some point in time, Alice and Bob were together. Uh, they agree on some kind of cipher uh, that they want to use and they for some reason got separated and they now want to communicate through this unsecured channel that we can assume is uh, the internet. Now this is an important part of the assumptions because uh, if Alice and Bob cannot meet, uh, there won't be a secure way to uh, agree on a cipher. So we are assuming that they already agree on some kind of cipher. Now, because we are talking about the Caesar cipher, that is also called the Chift cipher. So we're calling talking about the Chift Chift cipher or the Caesar cipher. The Chift cipher, basically, what it is, is you're gonna shift, as the name uh, says, we're gonna shift the letters a certain amount of positions. Now, I'm going to explain this in detail a little bit later, but for now, because we are uh, talking about Alice and Bob agreeing on some kind of cipher, uh, let's assume that Alice and Bob agree on the following shift cipher. The shift cipher uh, that they agree on is a shift of three units to the right. So, shift of three units, or three positions. To the right. Now, if you don't understand this right now, uh, it will make sense when I show you the English alphabet and I talk about a little bit more about what a shift cipher is and what three positions to the right mean. We can also have uh, shifts that are to the left. So, but for now, well, let's just assume that Alice and Bob agree on the cipher and the cipher is uh, three positions to the right. Now, it could be any kind of positions to the right or to the left, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but for now, for the examples that we're gonna talk about, let's just assume that the positions that we're gonna take to the right for the shift cipher are just, are just uh, three positions.